Hey guys, it's Andrea here from Crafter Support, and today I'm going to share with you how to download a file that you purchased from Etsy and send it to your Cricut and print it out. So the first thing you need to do is go into your Etsy shop and click on your purchases. This um, page will show up and you're going to click on the download files. So this is the information that the seller gives you so that you know how to work the files that they send you. That's the very first download. The, usually that's the very first download that they offer you. So I do like to click on that. I don't normally save it, but I do like to read over it. The information on there is usually very helpful. So once you click download, you're unzipping that file and then you can click open once it's um, done downloading. So some option files will like offer be offered here as well. You just go down to the guidelines and click on the guidelines. They might name it something differently, but usually it is the print and cut guidelines. So here is all the information you need, depending on what machine you're using. So they offer different instructions for different machines. And this one gives photos and everything. So I really like how this one's written up. It's very clear if you've never done it before. So I'm just looking for the Cricut machine. And this gives me all the information I need if I'm downloading this onto my Cricut and I've never done it before. It's just step by step. And it lets you know that there will be different there'll be changes um, in size. So you have to find, there's gonna be another file that you're gonna download when you're actually downloading the images that you purchased. And that gives you the sizes that you need for the ratio on design space. So like I said, this is a lot of great information, definitely worth looking at. And um, you could use it for different machines. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Cricut download because I'm using a Cricut. It also offers silhouettes. Um, silhouette looks like two files. You have to download two different ones where Cricut is just one. And you can click download. And this is where it's unzipping. So I get a lot of questions. Is what is unzipping a file? Basically, you're just extracting it um, from the file that they sent you. And then you're going to unzip it so that it makes it available to you. So once you click open, here are all of your files, one through seven, um, and then you have the Cricut files, and then you have the print then cut um, information at the very bottom. Now I'm going to click the Cricut cut file, and this is what's going to tell me what sizes I have to make my file once I put it on to design space. So it says files one through six need to be 6.2 inches and file number seven needs to be 5.5 inches. And to make sure my aspect ratio is locked whenever I'm putting the sizes in and it will make it the size that I need it. So this is really important. You could jot these numbers down, take a picture of them, print this out, whatever you wanna do, keep it in a binder with your extra um, prints but it's just very helpful because this is going to make make or break the design to make sure it's going to fit. Okay, so now I'm going to double click on number one, the design number one, and I'm going to right click and then click save as. And then I'm just going to rename my file. So I'm going to call this H1 for Halloween one. And then I'm going to hit enter and that saves it. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the files. So we're going to go to number two, double click. It will open it up as like a picture. I'm gonna right click and click save as. I'm gonna name this one H2 and so on and so forth. And I'm just gonna do this for all of the other um, five downloads. So once we get everything downloaded, we're gonna open up our design space. So I'm gonna to go to Cricut open up a new design space, um, canvas space. And I'm gonna go over here to the left and click upload because we're gonna go get those files that we just put on there and ignore my low battery thing that keeps popping up. Okay, so we're gonna click here. Um, this is gonna take us to browse our different files that we have. And then I'm gonna go to quick access. Other people may do this differently. I like to go to quick access because I know they're all pulled up. You could also type file name, which would be in my case, H1, H2, H3. 
but I'm going to do file number H7. I'm just going to click on it. It will pull it up for me and I'm going to click complex. So I like using complex because it gives me, I think, very clear printing and it also cuts really well. And it's just going to pull up the screen. We don't need to make any changes here so we can keep going. And then I'm going to click on the print and cut option. And then we're just going to click upload and then it's going to put it right on design space our uh, main page for us for our files so once we do that we can click on it and click send to canvas and then it's going to appear on our canvas now here's where we need to pull those sizes back up because right now it's far too big for us to print out um, you can tell on the right hand side with that little caution triangle saying nope too big to print and cut so here we go back and we know that our file needs to be for file number seven, 5.5 inches. So we're gonna go back to our canvas and we're going to put our new size in with, the, with it locked and this is our 5.5. So now we're just gonna click on the right hand side and click make it and it's ready to go. Now we don't have to worry about anything over here on the left unless you wanna make multiple pages. Um, it's all set, we don't have to flip anything, nothing like that. And then we can just continue. So we click on the right hand bottom and now we're gonna talk about printers. So here's where we click send to printer and it's gonna give us some options. I suggest if you're doing this to click bleed. So you wanna have a bleed around all of your stickers so that when it cuts it, it's gonna cut a nice clear cut um, around and you won't have much like extra on the sides. So now I have multiple printers connected to my laptop. I'm going to pick my HP, it's my absolute favorite, best for price on ink, everything. So I really like this one. And then this one I think says preferences. I don't have my glasses on and I'm looking at a small screen when I'm editing. Um, we are going to go down to matte paper and we're going to do best quality. This is really important to change this so it's the best quality that you can get. We're gonna click okay, our settings are right. And then we're going to click print. So the, here's our print box, everything set, and we just click print. And so here is my HP printer, super old guys, super old. Love how it prints, I've had it for a really long time. Um, definitely recommend it. So that's it for this part of the video, guys. I'm going to have another video coming up right behind this one. And it's going to be how to calibrate your machine for print and cut. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.